So let's carry on, Abbas. Yes. You know, Chief Okupe's resignation from the party. Yes. You know, the man is a man with a wealth of experience in politics and in media. You know, he has worked with President Olivier Chagoba Sonjo yes. as SA Media, also worked with President Jonathan as SA Media. So his exposure and experience in politics and, you know, media and being on ground is second to none. You know, now this man who was, who was spearheading the campaign of Peter Obi yeah. has now resigned. Yeah. How would that affect the party? Is it a plus or a minus? I, I think it's a plus. And, and I would say it's a plus in one, in one way, and it's also, it is not even a minus, mm. because Bonnie Okupe still remains a, a, a major um, participant, playing a major role in this our campaign and towards the election. And Bonnie Okupe has been a man that has um, believed in uh, 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 His Excellency Peter Obi from the start, while he was in the PDP. He followed him around all the states to, 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 to visit the PDP, uh, um, caucus while he was still um, trying to um, get the ticket, mm -hmm. the presidential ticket for the PDP. And he had followed him to the Labour Party where we currently are. And if you look at, um, upon his conviction, there is, and for every Nigeria, and I think this is a very good example for us, for, for the politicians in Nigeria, to take a clue from. Now, upon his conviction, the man did the, the most humble thing and the, is the resignation is a metaphor for a lot of things that the Labour Party stands for. Mm. It, the, the, his resignation is a resolve to show Nigerians that we are here to introduce a new style of politicking. We are here to clean Nigerians of corruption. We are here as the Labour Party to clean Nigerians of this decay infrastructure, with infrastructure within the system. We are here to clean Nigeria away from all this um, lack of uh, education. You can imagine people going on strike for, a uh, university going on strike for. It, it, it's all good months this year. We are here to, 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 to pursue a welcoming Nigerian, a welcoming polity, where it is not where we will have my friend because he's my friend, because he's a minister that I've appointed myself, mm. and he has been accused of committing a crime or convicted of a particular crime, though because he's my friend, he can hold on to his position. That is not the kind of politics we are here to play. We are here to play a politics that is clean, free, fair, that every Nigerian will choose to participate in. His resignation has shown that for a man holding such a, a position in our campaign towards the 2023 election, he had done the humble thing by, res by resigning. He's still way and much more part of the, of the campaign, campaign uh, 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 um, during the season. Council. He's not part of the campaign council, as it were, but he's still part of the campaign process. He had resigned his appointment as the chairman mm. of, the, of, the, of, the, of the DG of the campaign council. And I think that is a good sign. That is a welcoming development that I think every well-meaning and reasonable Nigerian uh, sh sh should support. So you don't think that his absence, you know, I mean, is who's going to replace him? As it stands now, I, I'm not currently aware of any particular person that has been appointed to replace him. Who, who but, do you but, think but, but, the party has its clout and, you know? But I think in, 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 in the Labour Party team, in the Labour Party team, as it right. were, there are people with the same hierarchy, the same caliber, the same, same wealth of experience when it comes to politics, the same wealth of experience when it comes to... Uh, um, uh, 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 advertisement or whatever it might media. require or the media. There are people, there are also much people with a better experience, even in politics, in finance, in every other aspect that we require to make, to, to push the, the um, mobility presidential campaign uh, council towards achieving um, our major objective, so which is from, the from, from where you from where you stand, you believe that the OB campaign is still on the right path. It is still on the right path. You can, you, you can see what happened in New York when, when, when New York this, this past week, when Bayesa, you can see our, our, our presidential and candidate well. and, and River State as well. You can see our presidential candidate, he walked on the street, he had shown people they had seen because if they fail to give us the stadiums to use, if we have to apply and keep on applying and push and push every state in Nigeria, either governed by the APC or the PDP, so hard for them to give us a stadium to use as a ground for us to, to, to meet. Our president and he did even the, un, the, un, the, un, the undone. He walked on the street, walked people through the market, 
into the place where they, they, they had been given to, to campaign. And you can see how it was received. I, I mean, I, I, so you think the, the, the state government in those states are, are using the state apparatuses to the undue disadvantage of Peter Obi? I, I think for everything they have trying done. Trying to frustrate his, his I, campaign. I, I think the everything they have done has not in any way frustrated our campaign. As a matter of fact, it has added to the love that we get from every and ordinary individual. The poverty in the land is so endemic, so bad, that you will not see a product like Peter Obi, a man preaching, uh, His Excellency Peter Obi, a man preaching uh, his honesty, is not telling you I will not be on ground to do the work, is on TV, is on radio, is on, is talking to people at the airport, people is reachable, you know that everything he has promised to do and to plan to do for Nigeria, mm. if he's given the opportunity to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, all those things are going to be uh, uh, properly and duly effected. He had stated that in his, in, 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 in his uh, uh, manifestos, he had given his seven-point agenda on what he intend to do. He has talked about security, he has talked about moving Nigeria from uh, uh, um, uh, consumption to production. Mm -hmm. He has talked about uh, um, the arable lands in the, in, the, in the north, how he's going to turn that to the next wealth of Nigeria. He has talked about the involvement of Nigerian youth in politics. We, this, this is key. And there is no other political party in Nigeria that can stand to galvanize the amount of support the Obidati movement has had in, uh, uh, on, by the youth of Nigeria, by uh, uh, the, the, the women in the markets by um, even an ordinary working class people. Mm. Because the Labour Party is the working class party. Mm. And for everyone, either you are a lawyer, either you are a, 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 a medical doctor, for everywhere I've been to, I have seen the support. Even people that don't even come out to give the support, they're in their, in their, in their um, mind, in their household, they are campaigning for Peter Obi. And I don't think there is a better, mar a better product in the market in terms of politics to sell now, other than my president. I, 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 I can see your, your passion for Peter Obi, and that's understandable. Mm. I, I want to take us back again to this um, um, Chief Okupe issue. Yes. You, know, you know, even before now, he's had some issues in the party, respect of you know, siphoning party funds, you know, corruption charges from the party members yeah. or party excos against him. In fact, NWC members had an allegation against him of um, corruption. And, and I believe, in fact, he was removed as a party member in his local government, but the police secretary of the party you know, made him a member yet again. So do you think that this case that has just been decided now, having been more than seven years old, suddenly got judgment now? Is there smoke without fire? Do you think that there's a linkage? Do you think that some people are trying to influence that judgment just in the cause, in the, in the objective to try and remove him as the DG of the campaign? Um, I, I, I beg to differ with that question because I, I don't think we can, um, for every Nigerian, mm -hmm. and for a meaningful Nigerian, for a lawyer like I am, mm -hmm. I would not in any way um, assume or even come to think of the fact that um, the court of law could be used to, to participate in politics, either way or another. Mm -hmm. I, I believe the courts had um, heard the matter. The court had consistently heard the matter even prior to um, um, uh, Chief Doyon Kukwe being the DG of Labour Party of, mm. of the um, Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, um, before he even joined the Labour Party. This case had, uh, had been in court, and I yeah. believe the court had taken the time to review all the evidence against him, all the, all the uh, uh, allegations against him, and have arrived at that judgment. However, on your issue of uh, um, the dispute within the party, yeah. um, which has led to the um, his suspension, from um, the Ogun State uh, um, chapter where it belongs, to yeah. which the party, the secretary of the party, had come out to state that what uh, the Ogun State chapter had done is um, is um, illegal and it is not in line with what our constitution um, entails. However, I know there are a lot of uh, uh, divergence points on that issue. Uh, people have their own separate reservations about it. But what I think is is, is germane. And what is paramount is the grown norm of our party.